If you've been on this journey for a while, you've likely been seeking love outside of yourself in the world of form through some form of external validation, running from love or seeking love outside of yourself and trying to find it in the world of form, whether that be through success, through accolades, through your career, through money, through relationships, through admiration, through comparing yourself to others and feeling, you know, superior or whatnot. It can look different for everyone and it'll resonate with everyone differently. But ultimately, this is seeking love outside of yourself in some way for some form of validation to temporarily try to fill that void within that feels lack or feels unworthy in some way. You'll often even run from love for the very same reason. Running from love and pushing it away because it feels so unnatural to what you've known thus far, which is this feeling of unworthiness or feeling of lack. And so whether you've been running from love or hiding from it, pushing it away or seeking it outside of yourself, ultimately it all comes down to seeking outside of yourself and running from your true self, your true nature, the essence of who you truly are. So all forms of seeking are ultimately um, running from self. Running from who you truly are, which is love at your core. And the problem is, and it's not a problem per se, because it's all divinely guided, is that when you're on this journey and after you've expended enough energy and you've experienced enough pain and suffering by seeking love outside of yourself in the externalized world of form which has led you to nothing but dead ends pain and suffering ultimately you start to shift your focus and your awareness and the light of your consciousness back onto yourself And this is where the magic happens because you start to connect with who you truly are at your core. This is when you start to undergo a heart awakening and make that journey from living within the egoic world, right? The conceptualized world, the egoic mind, the one that sees separation and pain and fear and the chasing and the seeking and the and everything outside of yourself, feeling alone, abandoned, unworthy, all of the things, right? All of these wounds have been uncovered. The band-aids have been ripped off to reveal to you still the unhealed uh, wounds there that need to be healed in order for you to fully come into your sacred heart. And the truth of who you truly are. And so the path has been rocky and the path has been turbulent and the path has led you into dead ends and the path has been painful and the path has led to suffering. And the more you continue to seek outside of yourself or run from your own self in the form of running or chasing something outside of yourself to fill that void and get that externalized form of validation somewhere, somehow in the in the externalized world of form, the more suffering and pain you will endure because you came here to experience yourself as love. And if you are love, then how can you possibly seek it? You are already it. You can only be love. This is not something that you can chase or contain or obtain or even give to others or take away from others. It's not something that can be manipulated. This is the essence of who you truly are and you can only be love. And when you, in those moments when you let your guard down and you drop out of your mind, your egoic mind, 
and your thought patterns and your conditioning temporarily. You can get a taste of this truth that emanates from your beingness, your heart space, the truth of who you truly are. You can get a taste of this and then the mind will come back in because it wants to keep you ultimately safe. Ultimately, the ego is trying to protect you and keep you safe in your comfort zone and your familiar zone, even if your comfort zone is chasing love outside of yourself or chasing validation outside of yourself. And so the, the egoic mind is going to keep you focused in the externalized world of form. And if you're resonating with this, you're being guided to go inward and turn the light of your consciousness inward, back into your heart, back into your heart space, and not, not your physical heart, and not even your heart chakra, even though your heart chakra will open as a byproduct of your willingness to surrender your, your will to the will of the divine and move into your heart space. You're being guided to turn back and reflect back onto yourself. Turn your light of consciousness back onto yourself and come into wholeness with who you truly are, which can only be through your beingness. This is not something that your mind can take you to. This is a journey from the egoic mind into your sacred heart so your mind will not lead you there. This is why the ego death has likely been occurring in your experience because you're loosening the grip that the egoic will has over your soul and over your expression here in this reality so that you can come more into heart-centeredness. Your mind will not lead you there. Your thoughts will not lead you there. Your beliefs will not lead you there. Your thought patterns and conditionings, all of that is a distraction from who you truly are, which is at your core, love itself. And each and every path that you've been seeking outside of yourself to to get some form of validation, love, or approval outside of yourself in order to fill that temporary, uh, in order to temporarily fill that feeling of lack or, or, or scarcity or need within has crumbled and blown up in your face and divinely guided to direct you back to the source of who you are because all roads lead home. All paths eventually lead home. And you can take the long road home, take the scenic route, or you can take the short road home. And the short road home is coming into your own heart and coming into your beingness and coming into the love that you are and allowing yourself to be love and allowing that to start to emanate your being from the inside out to where you can start to see through your eyes love everywhere you turn and realize and recognize that every situation, circumstance, and occurrence or happening that has been on your path this entire time has ultimately been preparing you for this moment of realization or recognition of who you truly are. And every player or actor in your movie has played the perfect part and the perfect role. Ultimately, you are one with all of creation. You are love and you are connected to all that is. So ultimately, in the truth, deepest truth, all of the other actors and players in your story are you reflecting back to you exactly what you have needed for your journey home to who you truly are. So if you're resonating with this, please know 
that the gateway to your heart is through the silence. It's not through the words or the thoughts or the patterns or the conditioning or the will. Your willpower is no good here. This is through the silence and surrendering to your sacred heart. Namaste.